Chris, a, an improved performance after last week, I mean, not the result you wanted. What did you make of your team? An improved performance. On last weekend, I thought so. Well, we went down to 10 men last week, so it was a completely different type of performance. Yeah. So what did you make of your team today then? I, I got mixed emotions about it, if I'm honest. Um, I thought we did a lot of things really well against a team that beat Tottenham last week, beat Chelsea last week, uh, two weeks ago. We close against Man United, is about six in the division. Um, for me, um, mixed emotions because um, Good. I don't want and I don't like the unlucky shout. You get you get what you deserve. So people will say, well, we didn't deserve anything from the game. I'm really frustrated by the players, if I'm honest. Um, I don't go into all that all that nonsense and narrative that you know they don't care, they don't try. Like I said to people before. They won't pull a shirt on. I know how much that means to, for, for people to pull a shirt on, pull that shirt on especially. So they won't pull that shirt on. I won't pick them if they, they didn't care about about the performance. Things Obviously, it's a real difficult season. We totally understand that. The recovery from, from last week down to 10 men and some late goals in that, you know, can be viewed like I talked to you guys afterwards in, 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 different, in different ways. And we come out, we had some really good chances first half. Um, and second half, we just pinned them in. But we have to find that quality. If these players, whether it's here in terms of staying in the Premier League or getting back up to the Premier League, if the the worst comes to the worst next year, uh, this year, or they get, um, or there's an attraction from other clubs regarding these boys to play in the Premier League to continue their 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 journey on and stay in this division, they, they just have to show show so much more quality in in, in big moments. And we, the way the shape of the team was good, the way we got the ball back, especially half, was really good. You know, I'm delighted in terms of it was that that type of performance that I wanted to wanted to see. You know, going after teams and the, at, at the right time and and being aggressive and winning and chasing and 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 tracking back and winning races. But then you have to show the quality, and we got into some incredible positions today. And I would say. You know, that is the difference. That is the difference. They got into one position first half. Off his right peg, great ball in. We could have done better on the defending. They found that brilliant ball and a great header. We've had just as much, if not more, positions and opportunities like that to, to find an equaliser, stroke, go and win the game. And, and we haven't been able to find that. And that's that's the reason at times this season that, you know, we've we've... We've not turned losses into draws and draws into wins. Yeah, but so frustrating, really, because <coughs> you'd seen on that early spell that, that Wolves had right at the start. You, you seem to have got on top, and it's just a, a switch off, isn't it, for, for their goal? Yeah, I mean, we're 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 we're, we're asking a, 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 a you know a player maybe to play out a position a little bit, um, which is difficult. We lost two uh, natural left left wing backs, left backs as it as it is. So. You know, something that you know I have to get better with with Yasa. <coughs> um, but he's play, he's playing there and he's doing a job for us at, at, at the moment. Um, yeah, we switched off. We're balling, great balling, that that quality. But like I said, Adam, we've had just as many opportunities like that to find it. And even at, even at the end, you know, we're slashing at things and we're rushing things. That's where we need calm heads. That's why. That's why the, these Premier League players stay as Premier League players because when they're on top, they they find that nice nice moment, that sweet spot. They find that calmness in their play that makes that right decision, that makes that right pass, that right pass, run, cross and finish, that gets us back into the game in which I believe we more than deserve to be in. Spoke volumes, didn't it? How frustrated the the home supporters were getting, the fact that they were time wasting a little bit at the end to, to see it out does, does that speak about what your team managed to do in terms of frustrating them? Yeah, yeah we you know, we thought if we could get a foothold in the game um, but big opportunities like we said we, we, uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't take right away through the team and not just the, just the front two. I was delighted for Rian I thought he was, I thought he was, he was, he was outstanding for his, for his uh, you know <coughs> his first full starts I don't know when the last time he started. I think it was pretty me, uh, Arsenal maybe. He played 45 minutes, um, you know. But he just ran out of ran out of legs. But for that period that he was on, he showed what a proper player he was. And uh, and we're, we're so desperate for him to get that goal that he's played deserves. But his movement, his his, his attitude, um, seems a growing confidence as well. Yeah, it? with one. 
do you know what? That boy's been smashed for two, for two or three three years. You know, um, you know, maybe, like I said, maybe in the city, maybe externally, but not by the people that, that think the world of him. Not by the players. Not by the staff in the in, inside the football club. They love him to bits. They know what he can bring. They know what he can do for this football club, and uh, he'll get all my all my backing one hundred percent. And uh, you've seen when you when you get him when you get him going, you get him fit and healthy. Hopefully, which he can be now. You know, you look at the front two. We've got McAtee playing off as a as a ten, and um, and, and Ryan playing as a as a nine. And um, you know, I thought, as I said, Mac will be a little bit disappointed that he's not scored today. The positions that he's he, he's picked up, but Ryan Ryan's playing their combination play was excellent. I'm going to ask you about the incident involving Vinny Souza and Jack Robinson in the first half. What did you make of it? I'm all right with it, as you can absolutely expect I would, I would be. Just two players who, who care, who, who wanted to get something done? Well, like I said, the narrative is we, that, we, that we don't care. So, um, um, outside of the football club, um, not, by, not by our supporters. Um, I thought, yet yeah, again, we're top drawer again today. Um, but you know, this, this, these things happen. I don't want to make too much of it. They're all right as long as it doesn't carry on, you know. I, we, we've I've had that in my time previous year, so it, it, it doesn't matter. They shake hands, they get on with it. They want to win, they want to do well, um, and they're passionate about about the football club. You know, of course, you you, you want to make sure it doesn't go over. And uh, I was surprised, obviously, that the VAR ben? <coughs> would like to get involved in everything. So I wasn't surprised that they got involved in that as well. Just finally, you you said there was. Potential that a couple could have got back today. Was anybody close? To yeah, Ben. Ben will be available for next Monday. And George Baldock, which is brilliant news for us all. Great stuff. Cheers, Tom. Thank you.